Hey guys, Crewman here with another Fish Hash overclocking video. In this video, we're going to talk about the 4060 Ti and the rest of the 40 series. It's going to be in two parts because of the GIMPed 4060 or the memory bus on the 4060 Ti. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you how to make the flight sheet, and then I will show you how to set up the overclocks for each of them, each of the categories, the 4060 Ti and the rest of the 40 series. You can see the overclocks over here on the right. So let's dive into it. Uh, the first thing I want to do, though, is talk about disclaimers. Remember, my overclocks are not your overclocks. You might have to tweak the settings uh, a little bit. And then also, while these do not use Kapow level power like you saw in the 30 series, they still do you, you, you still use more power triple mining, especially on the rest of the 40 series. Okay, so first let's show you how to set up the flight sheet. So essentially you have your iron, you know, your coin right here, you have iron, and then you have your par Pyram or Carlson hash coin, um, your wallets right here, uh, your pool you can either configure in miner or use the pool settings right here. I do use hero miners, and I use K1 pool for every other algorithm that will allow it. I strongly recommend K1 pool, and I'll put a link down below on why I love K1 pool so much. It's an older video, but you get the gist of it. Um, and if you use my referral code, I will get 0.1% of a percent of your mining income so it helps the channel out and i would really appreciate it and it basically costs you nothing um the miner i prefer to use is regal miner but you can use lol miner uh it works and it, it is a solid miner i just like regal miner better and i think it's easier to set up with zill mining which is important to me so here's the extra config parameters and this is where you want to put everything that is on the right hand column and again i will put that down below so you can just copy and paste it but this is where you want to put that and then let me explain the overclocks on the 4060 Ti first, because like I said, there's two different ways to overclock the 40 series, the 4060 Ti and then the rest of the 40 series. Okay, so let's go into the nitty gritty on how I got these settings. So first, in order to control the power, you can up, you can raise or lower the offset. The higher the offset, the lower the power you use, and that will affect your hash, obviously. Um, something that's interesting is if you go, when you check the utilization, you can type in NVIDIA dash info on Hive and it'll probably show you with these settings, CPU and GPU utilization of hundred or GPU and memory utilization of hundred percent. You actually could probably take this down another 100, but you'd lose a little bit of, of, uh, iron hash performance. I found that 1000 was the best, was the best way to go. Now the if you when you lock the core clock that will also determine your power the lower the core clock the less power you use you'll get less pyram or carlson hash and a tiny bit like a very very tiny bit less fish hash so like i said these are the numbers that i found best and then these numbers right here are just my zil numbers eth hash is not fish hash so that you can't just use your eth hash numbers for fish hash which is why these are different i've tested these extensively and they have worked for me so let's move on to the the rest of the 40 series as you can see let me get it right here you can see it right here um, really the only difference is the memory bus size if you're worried about memory temperatures which i am not you can down clock your memory a little more like i said i have it higher than on the 40 series the uh, 4060 ti's but you will lose a little bit of hash actually on both ends on the fish hash and a tiny bit on pyram hash it's really kind of weird how that works out but like i said fish hash does not behave the same as eth hash does your offset and your your offset really determines how much power you want to use your core clock lock also determines how much power you use along with fish and uh, your Carlson or your Pyram hash. It's really kind of weird how it works. I don't set a power limit on these on like the 30 series. I didn't find you needed to. They re they're they really good at regulating your, themselves. And unlike the 30 series, you don't need to have an R mode in here. So you can basically just copy and paste these settings and you'll get similar results to what I have. So, so that's it. If you plug in these numbers on the hash rate dot no calculator, you compare single mining to... Uh, triple mining, you'll see that you get about 50% more profit, give or take. Obviously, you use more power, but it's really nice that because of the way fish hash works, it actually, when you mine 
when you mine fish hash, you actually don't affect the core performance at all, maybe like five or 10%. So you can essentially utilize the entire GPU. And because the memory bus isn't as big as like on the 30 series, it does not use as much power. Now, obviously the 3090 would be different, but I am not mining on a 3090 as you can see here. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please sub like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 4,000 4, subs as we keep growing and it helps the channel. And please share these videos with anybody who you know would be interested in them. I will probably do one more fish hash overclocking guide, maybe dual mine or triple mine with AMD, but I might try to do it to help you guys out. So stay tuned. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Superman out.